The Grammys are out of control. Last night, Sam Smith and a person named Kim Petras did a number in which they full on embraced Satanism. Followed the number, Laura, was almost as grotesque as the thing itself. Shocking for the sake of it, outraging, because why not? Sam Smith exposed for performing satanic ritual right in front of our faces and it will honestly make your skin crawl. More and more, the Hollywood and music industry is being exposed for taking part in dodgy rituals and sacrificing friends and family for money and fame. And last night at the Grammys, Sam Smith really became an example of just how corrupt the industry is. Fans across Twitter, TikTok and several other media platforms are outraged. And in this video, we'll unravel the truth about last night's ritual. Sam Smith rocked up to the Grammys last night and performed his famous song Unholy while dressed all in red and the top hat with two horns. Fans believe this performance was a tribute to Satan, that apparently the music industry is trying to normalize the devil as something really edgy and trendy. What is strange is, ahead of the performance, CBS, a very popular TV network, had tweeted out, we are ready to worship, but have since deleted this tweet. We really are in for a whole lot today. I know we on the right probably use the word satanic too often but this performance from Sam Smith is literally a tribute to Satan. But guys it does get a whole lot stranger than this with even more signs showing in his performance that this was indeed a demonic worship which we will discuss in a moment. Despite this being the strangest thing he's done so far, in one of his other songs I'm not here to make friends, the music video is literally him being urinated on. Obviously it's not real urine but the question has to be asked, what kind of messages this send to younger fans. However, it does get worse. Sam Smith's performance last night was literally sponsored by no other than Pfizer. Pfizer is a company funded by the government who spends billions of our tax money who are responsible for the COVID vaccines. And one of the ways our money is being used for is to fund the satanic worship. Shocking, right? Sam's performance opened up with him in the center of several men pretending to be women. However, nothing out the ordinary until the lyrics about all the to which he throws up this hand sign which of course is now being recognized as a six which is a devil number it also sounds like he's saying bow down to the in translation bow down to the devil the performance was shocking to a lot of people the red atmosphere combined with all the flames and cages left an uncomfortable feeling with fans due to the surroundings highly resembling hell towards the last bit of the song sam smith appeared in a hat with red horns resembling lucifer with many of the backup dancers worshiping him as he stood in the center with the flames getting more intense. He even has reference to Balenciaga being his daddy and we all know what they've been up to recently. But this isn't the weirdest thing. A lot of conspiracies are going around that people who sold their souls for money and fame are actually taught the ability to communicate backwards and while I'm not so sure if this is true, Sam Smith's unholy song played backwards is definitely concerning and fans believe it holds a satanic subliminal message saying give me your soul. Let me know down below what you think of this. Moving on from that, it's believed that satanic rituals are done in magic circles. Sam Smith's performance was done in exactly that, as well as ASAP Rocky's music video. But the strangest thing is, there are now mentions that the Will Smith and Chris Rock stunt was all done in magic circle, which allegedly was a humiliation ritual. But this conspiracy might be a bit far-fetched. But here are what some fans had to say about last night's performance. This particular one was in response to a tweet defending Sam Smith's performance as just being a form of art, not the fun or rather the saddest part is that you prove the point that satanic worship has been so normalized that the masses are completely desensitized from it. Now here you are defending something that is blatantly mocking you. 45 seconds into the Sam Smith performance you can see him flash the 666 hand sign so we can stop pretending that means white power. He makes the sign of the cross whenever he says unholy. Also he's surrounded by guys pretending they're women. What the f that all about. I guess it's part of the sold my soul deal that these psychopaths make. Don't fight the culture wars, they say. Meanwhile, demons are teaching your kids to worship Satan. I could throw up. So guys, let me know in the comments what you all think about this. Please remember the purpose of my videos are only to inform people and are not based on facts. Remember to subscribe for more updates on the situation and I'll see you all in the next one.